So, how about this new camera quality? Look at this, I got a real badass setup. Just ignore the ignore the t-shirt on the on the light, but the camera's nice. But anyways, enough about the gear. Let's get into the content for today. So today we're gonna be going over the Get CLI package. This package will basically let you create whole flutter infrastructure for an app. So let's get into it and show you how to do it. So this package is on pub.dev, but to install it's a little different than how you install most of your packages. You need to type this command, pub global activate get CLI. So we paste that in here and run it. You'll see it does some stuff and there we go, it's installed. So if you ran into some issues where it didn't get installed or maybe the command pub global activate get CLI didn't work, it's because you need to edit your environment variables. So the way you do that is go to your root and do ls-l8 and you should see a file like zshrc or maybe bash, maybe bash.profile, but then do vim.zshrc. Now you'll see something like this and then we click E for edit. And then if you've been using Flutter, you should probably already have this first one. This line enables you to use the term Flutter basically anywhere. These next two lines enable you to use the pub keyword anywhere. And then this last one is to enable you to use the get keyword. So I figured these two out from a Stack Overflow answer, which I will link in the description. And I found out about this last one when I did the install and it said that I will need to add this line. So to actually edit this file, you need to click I and then you'll be able to type whatever. And once you're done, click escape and then semicolon or colon and WQ, and then enter, and you'll be back to where we were. So now that command should definitely work for you. And now the next thing is to actually create the project. So let's take a look at what get can actually do. If you type get help, you'll see all these commands pop up. We're able to create the following things, controller, page, project, screen, and view, and we're able to generate locales and models. And here's some other little stuff you can do as well. So let's create an actual project. You do get, create, project. Whether you want a Flutter project or a get server, we might go over get server in a different video, but for now we're gonna do Flutter project. What is the name of this project? We're gonna name it get X CLI. What is the name of your company? We'll just do Tadis Petra. And there we go, it's creating our project. And here it lets you choose two type of patterns. The get X pattern, which is developed by, I don't know how to say that name, but by him, which we'll do first, or you could use the clean pattern, which is developed by Arcteco. Arcteco, hopefully. So let's do both of the options and see what they give. All right, and then let's just go right ahead and do get create another project, Flutter project. What is the name of this project? It's gonna be clean CLI. So first one we had get X CLI and this one's gonna be clean. We're gonna select the clean architecture. If we go into our get X and open Visual Studio Code, our test folder will actually be broken because remember this part where it says your lib folder is not empty. Are you sure you want to overwrite? We said yes and that kind of ruins the test, but we don't really care about that. We'll delete it. And then inside the lib, we have our main, which you have a get material app with your initial routes and everything. You have the actual app with routes and then pages and then you have one one module you have with the home view controller and a binding all set up for you and ready to go now in the clean so it seems to have some sort of issue i'm not really sure what that is but you see there's a whole different layout for this we have a presentation layer infrastructure layer and a domain layer that's part of the clean architecture so I don't know what these environment variables are or why it doesn't work, but it doesn't even look too important. Like this is for colors. I just returned a banner for all the, all of them. There we go. Problem solved. I don't know what that was about, but some config is missing probably. Hopefully that gets updated or maybe I did something wrong. I'm not sure. So since this is part of the getx package, we'll probably be working with this one more. So let's see what the actual app looks like without doing anything. All right, so there we go. It's just a simple home view and just as home view is working, that's it. And we could have known that from here, but 
as it has your routes set up and all your pages set up and everything. So let's see what else this package could do. So we do get help. And you see we can create pages as well. So let's create a login page for this. We do get create page and then login. So there we go. We have a login controller, login binding, login view and a route and a page created. So if we go over here, you'll see we have a new login page. We have a new route for the login and we have a whole login view controller and binding here as well. And it's just login views working. So very simple and neat. We did that in what? One line of commands. But you can do even more than that. You can create specific controllers. If, if the login screen needs a specific controller, we can create that and specific views. So let's say we want to create a controller for the actual login form. We do get create controller login form on the login screen. There we go. We take a look. Login, login form controller. And there we go. We have a controller for a login form on init, ready and on close. Everything's, everything seems to be working well. Let's create the actual view for the login form. We can do get create view login form on the login page. We take a look, login view. So it creates a whole new scaffold and everything, but you could use this as a like container just for the login form if you want. But let's see what the last thing does. Get create screen login form maybe on the login, login screen. So I think this generating a new screen is for the clean architecture. So we don't really want that. We're in the get X part. You see it creates a presentation layer and everything. So you see that with just a few lines of code, we were able to create all these pages and like views, controllers inside the page. We have binding setup, routes, everything. Everything is done with just a few lines of code. So all that's pretty cool, but it does even more than that. If we create an assets folder with a locales folder and a models folder, we can generate models and locales based on the configurations we put in here. So I have this two locales, which is Portuguese, Brazilian, and English. And then I have a model of user model. I don't know if you can see this, but they have name, age, and friends in there. And locales just have a couple things for all the sign in buttons. So we drop that into the assets folder. We bring up the terminal again. We can do get generate locales assets locales. So in the assets folder, in the assets slash locales folder, we want to generate locales. And boom, there we go. Now we can go over here, look at the generated. We have locales and you can see we have English and we have Portuguese and we can use that within our code. So we also have the models. We can generate them for a specific screen. So we do get generate model on the home screen and which model we want in the assets folder slash models we have the user model so if you click that you need to put the keyboard with beforehand and now that should work there we go we have a user model created on the home screen if we go check here open up the home screen there's the user model right there we have all this stuff to, we can use. We could do from JSON to JSON with just one command. And that's not it. It can even install packages for you. So if we do get install the camera package, for example, it installs camera, runs pub.get for you. And if we check our YAML folder, we should see camera right there. And now we're able to use a camera package inside our app. You can also do things like get remove camera and it'll remove the package. You'll see it's not here anymore. Then just a couple other quick ones. We have get update, where if there's an update to the get CLI package, it'll do it for you. But it says we already have the latest one. And you can check the version by get dash V it's 1.3.11. So that's pretty much it for the get CLI package. I think this is a great tool that can speed up your development like crazy. You'll be able to get your projects up and running with only the details that you need to fill out. 
And you guys know I'm a big fan of planning, right? So this will basically force you to plan your projects a little bit better. And then you can just set up everything you need from the plans using the CLI command and then just go in, fill the details and you'll have an app developed a lot faster than you would normally. But that's it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.